Hello, Patriots. I'm at Restored Republic via a GCR update for Tuesday, March the 29th, 2022 by Judy Byington. Welcome to Boom Week. It's time. Judgment Day is here. Thank you for your patience. They will pay now. I will post the classified information. Q. Great expectations. Judy note. This week, it appeared that mass arrests were happening. The global currency reset had begun, with at least seven nations now functioning on gold-backed currency, including Russia and China, leading to Europe, Russia, China, and Indonesia, depegging from the U.S. dollar with other nations to soon follow. Our one very honest Supreme Court judge, Clarence Thomas, was poisoned, which led to his wife exposing to Fox News that high-end political elites have been arrested and awaited military tribunals at Gitmo, and people complained that nothing was going on, likely because the mainstream media failed to report anything beyond Biden's gaffes that embarrassed the nation to the world. It's time for Judgment Day. Real News Headlines for Monday, March the 28th, 2022. Fox News reports on White Hat military election sting operation. Clarence Thomas's wife told Mark Meadows that the Biden crime family be living on a prison barge at Gitmo, awaiting military tribunals. And Z equals Q. Z is the end plan. The Russian military operation to liberate Ukraine the country that is the head of the deep state snake. And get ready for a world currency, the largest transfer of wealth in planet Earth's history. New stock market, global governments, banks, companies, hedge funds, bonds, ETFs, real estate, etc. That's from The Economist. So it's happening. We're seeing changes right now with some of these different countries going gold back to their using their gold back currency and not not using the dollar the global currency reset happened on sunday march the 20th while the swift global financial system was no more the evidence that BRICS nations have been trading in a gold backed currency this week has been verified and march 31st was the last day of business for any bank that was not Basel III compliant and the last day for the Federal Reserve. The Fed was absorbed into the Treasury one year ago and given a year to close down shop. Friday, April 1st, the quantum computer and new digital currency using blockchain would be fully activated. This week, Europe depegged from the US dollar, while Indonesia depegged last week. And the IRS admits taxes are voluntary. And here is a video clip of that from C-SPAN. Putin decided to kill three birds with one stone by invading Nazi-controlled Ukraine. There's enough evidence on the ground, photographs, um, testimonies from people living in the area that there are Nazis that are in the Ukrainian military and they have their own faction and they are vicious and they need to go. Elderly citizens in Maripol, Ukraine are overwhelmed with emotion as the Russian flag is hoisted over a newly liberated military base. They break into tears, hug one another and thank the Russian soldiers profusely as the national anthem plays, my Donbass is free. Global currency reset as of Monday, March the 28th, 2022. Pre-authorizing for PP owners started Thursday, March the 24th and should have finished by Sunday, March the 27th. So as to go out Monday, March the 28th or Tuesday, March the 29th, according to Bruce. CMKX farm claims, prosperity packages, groups out of Reno and bondholders we're told they would get emails over last weekend, 
with access to their funds on Monday, March the 28th or Tuesday, March the 29th, according to Bruce. Fleming notifications for fines and penalties will be delivered by special courier. Although these deliveries started this weekend, no money has been released. Not until tier four notifications start. It's reasonable then to believe that by Thursday, the 31st, everything has to be done. Monday morning, March 28th, Mark C. My banking contacts expect a full flow of dollars. <clears throat> On Tuesday, March 29th, a full flow of not only bond, but also of currencies. This is coming from two large international banks. This weekend, I spoke with Sheila, and she expects this week to be a week of abundance. Monday morning, March 28th, Mark Z. My banking contacts expect a full flow of dollars on Tuesday, March the 29th. A full flow of not only bond, but also of currencies. This is coming from two large international banks. This weekend, I spoke with Sheila, CMKX leader, and she expects this week to be a week of abundance. Mark C. Monday evening, March 28th. I'm still not 100% certain tomorrow is our day. Two contacts from large international banks think tomorrow will be the day everything starts. Even currencies will start. I am praying and hoping it is true, but I do not believe Iraq will be holding us back. Redemption Center staff were scheduled to begin working full-time on Tuesday the 29th of March, according to Bruce. And notification for Tier 4B would happen according to events, not dates. Though Bruce claimed notifications to set exchange redemption appointments was set to go out Tuesday the 29th of March, with start of appointments on Wednesday the 30th of March. Fleming said the email notifications may not go out until Wednesday the 30th of March. The Federal Reserve note, USD, would likely complete cleanup by the end of March, according to Bruce. The new gold asset-backed U.S. note was expected to be available to the general public around the first part of April. The fiat U.S. dollar, U.S. Inc., was bankrupted by the Chinese Communist Party in Saudi Arabia, according to Charlie Ward, would be phased out by the end of the U.S. Treasury fiscal year in September 2022. Recent History of the Global Currency Reset on Saturday, March the 12th, banks worldwide were switched to the new SWIFT global financial system. On Tuesday, March 15th, Delta Force took over the emergency broadcast system from the corrupt CIA. As of Friday, March the 18th at 6 p.m., the fiat U.S. dollar was no longer being used in international trade. And by Sunday, March 20th, the fiat U.S. dollar was officially dead according to Charlie Ward. On Monday, March 21st, a new gold asset-backed quantum financial system officially began across the globe. By Tuesday, March 22nd, seven countries began using their gold asset-backed currencies, including Russia, China, India, and Saudi Arabia. More were likely in the system by now. The U.S. would be the last country to go. Monday, March 28th, from Fleming. The evidence that BRICS has moved to prominence trading in a gold-backed currency is verified. The Central Bank of Russia has officially announced that as of March 28th, 2022. The Russian ruble currency is bound to gold. The rate is 5,000 rubles per gram of gold bouillon. The exchange rate today for ruble to US dollar is 5000 to $52.22 USD. The spot price for one ounce of gold today is $1,922.80. The Kitco gold price for one gram is $61.85. It would be wise to use rubles to buy gold with this kind of a discount. Rubles are definitely attractive for lucrative trading these days. Now the entire market in China has announced that it has to rethink China's monetary policy until April 5th. April 5th is the beginning of the first full week in April. 
The 1st of April is this Friday. It's the beginning of the first quarter. The 31st is Thursday and the last day of business for any banks that are not Basel III compliant. This is the last day of the Federal Reserve as well. The Fed was absorbed into the Treasury one year ago, given one year to close down shop. The end is this month. Next month, April 1st, starts all new books, integrating quantum computer and new digital currency using blockchain. China has shut because they had tied trade to the euro and to the dollar, and we're only waiting for the disconnect. This has now happened. Europe has depegged from the dollar starting this week. Indonesia depegged last week. The 27 country EU relies on Russia for 40% of its gas. The Russian Central Bank, the government and gas prom, which accounts for 40% of European gas imports, have to present their proposals for ruble gas payments to President Vladimir Putin by March 31st. April 1st has a different approach. Although the energy ministers from the group of seven have rejected the ruble payment demands, they don't have much choice. NATO is outsmart, outsmarted and outbid. The OPEC dollar has run its course. They're all going back to their own currency versus trading in the US dollar. April 1st is the culminating point for every trade deal around the world, when all will be trading with new asset-backed currency under a new QFS. China is taking five days to allow the system to shift everywhere to new currencies. This is what platforms all over the world wait on. True asset-backed currency with a solid value determined by the gold that backs it. Not some fake paper created by fake governments run by duplicitous self-serving politicians proven to be guilty of corrupt and violent criminal acts by every standard all over the world. The term platform is used for everyone of the master trusts, streaming money downline. For every prosperity package, farm claims, CMKX, etc., and for all SKR, safe keeping receipts, assigned for any asset that has been traded. All government bonds that were traded have been traded on a platform, which for purposes of this discussion hold the infrastructure and guarantees to make this paper valuable. These guarantees have always been gold. This is also why the gold bag currency is so important. The agreement provided by this guarantee on every trade required repayment for their lien of asset to always and only be with gold. This is what has held up the world. This little fact is the reason no money has been released anywhere. The fiat dollar, the euro, both had to go and legitimate, irrevocable, verified hard assets had to be delivered in kind or no proceeds released anywhere. With the full release of US and US note, these accounts on hold and assets on account, that number in the tens of thousands are finally able to be released and spendable the distribution and notifications going out to all of the named principles in fines and penalties to any that participated in lawsuits brought against the U.S. Treasury and other Tier 1 banks involved in withholding lawfully earned money will begin in earnest. Contact for F&P will not be sent by email. Notifications for fines and penalties will be delivered by special courier. Although these deliveries started this week, no money has been released, not until tier four notifications start. It's reasonable then to believe that by Thursday, the 31st, everything has to be done. Email notifications with invitations to exchange redeem are expected by Wednesday. The last few days of this week are the last few days for markets everywhere to reallocate real money to the fiat, to prop up US dollars, to be able to exchange one-to-one -one USD to USN. Schedule of events according to Whiplash 347. 107 said, event 
Monday to Tuesday, 28th and 29th of March, 13 day event. China, Tuesday, March the 29th in 5.5 hours. Precision cyber attacks on global stock market. Releasing Hunter Biden's laptop images to shut down the internet. Last year, POTUS said on Thursday, March 31st, about a big flash and we would go to light. Queen event, three days plus 10. Bay of Pigs, could be happening very soon. Last year, Juan said that Donald Trump will be the president by April Fool's Day, Friday the 1st of April. Next couple of days, they will be lining up for military tribunals off Club Gitmo. Plenty of evidence to support that. All you need to do is look at Monkey Works and go back and, and look at how Gitmo has tripled in size, all the flights going in and out of Gitmo. U.S. National Emergency and Sunday, April 10th, what does Q500 say? 410-20, bombing of, and then 34, global satanic targets, Kiev is all but fallen. Black Swan event, flip the Project Odin Starlink switch, and then RV. All your phone, phones are being cut off. Think satellites and internet cables being cut. We are getting new Q phones, quantum phones. Think Tesla PI. Download the Signal app. You will need it during the storm. Rough order. Social media. Think Q1044. Telegram will stay till the last, but make sure you get your the Signal app. We have to follow RT News. Will guide us in D class before it all goes down. Internet is switched off. Kill switch. Yes, NSA. Gidra, Apache, Log4j will burn it all. Rothschild's central bank oil-backed war notes will be switched out for precious metal-backed treasury notes. It is not all digital, hence why RV is part of the transfer of wealth. Melania and POTUS RV trip was code for revaluation of all currencies on planet Earth. Equals level playing field. C. Iraqi dinar. Warning. Prepare for the internet to go down. Prepare to lose access. Download Signal app, highly encrypted military app that will be the only thing that works once phones go down. It is connected to a military satellite. Q phone is incoming. All those scare videos people are putting out saying you will go to prison if you share Hunter Biden's laptop videos and photos, etc. coming. No, this is the Q NSA plan to shut down the internet. Q1044, internet kill on the clock. We were given Obama image, HRC frazzle drip by Q, but in fact, now it looks like Hunter Biden's laptop contents. So Hunter Biden's laptop has all of that on it. Unbelievable. Everything is cover story to cover story, guys. EMP is an internet shutdown. A solar flare is an internet shutdown. NSA, Ghidra, Apache, Log4j, an internet shutdown. Queen's death, social media blackout. So you can see they use codes in the media to relay information. NSA to release Hunter Biden's laptop contents. That will trigger an internet shutdown, especially if it has frazzle drip on it and the frazzle drip too, which is far worse. Holy cow. Trump is still your president, but not the 45th, the 19th. Everything from 1871 is being wiped from the universe. It was illegal and unconstitutional. Global currency reset. Putin predicting dollar and euro demise and everyone moving to real reserves of raw materials like land, food, and gold. Russian President Vladimir Putin has instructed the government, central bank, and Gazprom to implement measures to switch to ruble payments for gas for unfriendly countries by March 31st. The Kremlin says, Judy note, the ruble is gold backed. Putin will not accept the fiat US dollar. 
New bill tasks Treasury, not Fed, with digital dollar issuance. Thoughts from the Tippy Top Patriot. Today you will undoubtedly run across people at work, school, and family who know all about last night's Oscars, but nothing about what's really going on in the world. They will know everything there is to know about all the idols Hollywood has to offer, but nothing about the true and living God. They will know about all the personal lives of each actor and actress, but nothing about the debauchery and Satanism that permeates the Holly weird culture. They will know all about the obviously phony Will Smith and Chris Rock fight, but nothing about the real fight for freedom against the deep state. They will fall for the phony fight. Today, I'm praying for two specific things. I'm praying we will have opportunities to share the truth with those who don't know. And I'm praying for those of us who are awake to not to be discouraged by those who refuse to wake up. Share the truth with all who listen, but don't allow their rejection to keep you from fighting. That is so true. It can be very disheartening when your family doesn't believe you or your friends and you just keep trying to tell them the truth and show them and they don't believe you or they don't want to see it. Sometimes they just don't want to see it. And then you feel alone because you're the only one carrying this information in your you know, sphere of influence. But, but just know, patriots, you're not alone because there's lots and lots of people out there that you may not see every day and they're fighting and they know the truth. The real news for Monday, the 28th, 2022, Clarence Thomas's wife told Mark Meadows that the Biden crime family would be living on a prison barge at Gitmo awaiting military tribunals. And that made its rounds on Telegram all day yesterday. So that is big news. And one more thing, we had a comment from Commander Thor yesterday. He said that Clarence Thomas had been poisoned, but he actually did die. But the White Hats are going to make it sound, you know, keep him alive like they did with Ruth Bader Ginsburg because they don't want this fake administration to try to put another, you know, um, dark hat replacement in the Supreme Court. IRS admits taxes are voluntary. That's interesting. And the greatest wealth transfer, according to Dan Pena. There's a YouTube video for that. Biden's Secretary of State Tony Blinken has ties to George Soros. Oh, I'm not surprised. Through his parents. Now Blinken is being brought before an international court for his actions with Albania. Bombshell information. Jack Maxey on Hunter Biden's laptop. I, I think I showed you an interview with Jack Maxey um, a few days ago. Pretty explosive. That laptop is what I would consider the keystone to everything. It probably ties everything together. Justice Clarence Thomas poisoned. He was admitted to Sibley Hospital in DC after physicians diagnosed him with a viral infection, which was false, said a high ranking white hat military source who claims our nation's tenured conservative justice ingested a near lethal dose of thallium, tasteless, color colorless and odorless. Thallium is a chemical element with a symbol TI and atomic number 81. It is a gray post-transition metal that is not found free in nature. When isolated, thallium resembles tin that discolors when exposed to air. Soluble thallium salts, many of which are nearly tasteless, are highly toxic and they were historically used in rat poisons and insecticides. Use of these compounds has been restricted or banned in many countries because of their non-selective toxicity. Because of its historic popularity as a murder weapon, thallium has gained notoriety as the poisoner's poison and inheritance powder. And that's from Real Raw News. Biden laptop purportedly reveals email from Hunter's team outlining strategy to employ lobbyists in DC to help shape US policy toward Burisma interests. So there are lobbyists in DC working against the American people, against the truth. That's not okay. 
You know, just because somebody hires a lobbying firm to do something, you know, you have to, there has to be a line drawn as to what these lobbyists can and can't do. And they shouldn't be in the business of deceiving the American people. Senator Chuck Grassley reveals financial dealings between the Chinese Communist Party, Hunter, and James Biden on the Senate floor and brings the receipts. Wow. How much evidence do people need, seriously? Russia-Ukraine war. Maripol mayor orders complete evacuation of the city now in Russian hands. Ukraine says it's retaken major Kiev suburb. And that's a Zero Hedge article. Pentagon advisor Colonel Doug McGregor on Russia-Ukraine war. The issue for the Russians from the very beginning has been, how do we proceed without killing large numbers of civilians and inflicting a lot of property damage? And Putin gave very strict orders from the outset that they were to avoid these things. The problem with avoiding it is that it has slowed the progress of the operation to the point where it has given false hope both to the Ukrainians, but I think has been seized on by people in the West to try and convince the world that a defeat is in progress, when in fact the opposite is the case. So the war itself at this stage of the game could be decided very, very rapidly. Permanently, if Putin were to give the order and allow the forces to disregard the concern for civilians and property damage. But he hasn't done that. He has continued to negotiate, even though he recognizes that the people sitting across from him really are not in a position to deliver very much. They're being told what to do, and it's very obvious that Washington wants this to continue as long as possible in the hopes that Russia will be desperately harmed. I just don't see that happening. A powerful cyber attack hit Ukraine's national telecommunications company. You could, UK R Telecom. It was described as the most severe cyber attack since the start of the Russian invasion. 70% of the Russian population is firmly behind Vladimir Putin. That's a very large percentage in any conflict for any president to enjoy. Ukrainian forces are still active, are entirely surrounded, cut off, and isolated in various towns and cities. The Ukrainian forces are incapable of anything but an occasional pinprick attack on something that doesn't appear to be very robust or dangerous. So the war, for all intents and purposes, has been decided. The Russian military, house by house, is liberating Maripol from Nazi gangs. The fighters are acting decisively, toughly, quickly. Each high-rise building is combed up to the roof, and there's very little time left before the complete liberation of Maripol from the Bandera underground. And I do have a video showing you the liberation of these different high-rise buildings. Lots of white hats, lots of behind-the-scenes operations. Putin was going to be assassinated by the Davos Rockefellers, CIA deep state ops, for betraying them. The plot to destroy Putin and take over Russia was the plan of the New World Order. Fortunately, white hats in the EU, US, Russia all stepped in and started mass arrests. Colonel Doug McGregor, the biggest lie I've heard repeated on television is Russian troops have been told to deliberately murder civilians. Ukrainian civilians, it's absurd, it's nonsense. Nothing could be further from the truth. The Russians will be successful in what they have set out to do. Intense combat footage from Maripol. Russia, Russian and allied troops advanced through blasted streets clearing out nationalist Azov forces building by building. Elderly citizens in Maripol are overwhelmed with emotion as the Russian flag is hoisted over a newly liberated military base. They break into tears and hug one another and think that Russian soldiers profusely thank them for profusely as the national anthem plays, My Donbass is free. According to Patrushev, the emergence of new centers of world development caused growing dissatisfaction with the United States. They sought to maintain their hegemony by any means and unleashed wars in other regions of the planet. Yugoslavia, Iraq, Afghanistan, Libya, Syria. 
Now that the American external debt has exceeded $30 trillion, America has begun to push humanity towards a global catastrophe. Zelensky has lost control over the national battalions, which act on the basis of their own interests. Russian State Duma Deputy Mikhail Sheremet, today we can say with confidence that Zelensky has completely lost control over the nationalist battalions and militants. They do not obey him, do not follow his orders and act on the basis of their own interests. All their patriotism is based on the dollar equivalent. They do not need any Ukraine, said the MP. The Central Bank of Ukraine, 99.2% of funds spent from a bank account created on February 24th for the needs of Ukrainian troops. There's no money, fuel, equipment, ammunition are running out. Russian special forces came to the House of the Beast, the leader of the Nazis in Berdyansk, Plotnikov, Viktor Ivanovich, or the so-called Bacha, the leader of the Nazi cell of the banned right sector, in Berdyansk, who kept the inhabitants of the whole city in fear. Plotnikov has more than 50 crimes on his account and became famous for his atrocities against civilians and cruel torture of prisoners. Previously, Baca fought in the Adair National Battalion. His house is full of Nazi uniforms, chevrons, various weapons, photographs and documents confirming that their owner is a member of radical formations. And shocking videos alleging showing Ukrainians shooting and torturing Russian POWs, and that is a Gateway Pundit article. The global financial crisis, U.S. Federal Reserve merged with the U.S. Treasury after the mini stock collapse. Dow Jones last year, March to May last year, that was POTUS. Vlad and King Salman take out of the Rockefeller's oil control. This then led to the merging of the U.S. Treasury and the Fed. There's a one-year deal in place for the Federal Reserve to remain in that merger. Then they go bye-bye. And the U.K. Bank of England governor warns real incomes to be hit by historic shock, bigger than in any year in the 1970s. Real incomes in the U.K. to be hit by historic shock worse than, I think she just repeated that sentence, Inflation is set to average 7.4% this year as energy bills spiral. White hats, no sugar coating here. Just real information to prepare you for the new world order plan to depopulate the world. Blamed on climate change, floods, deaths, chaos, earthquakes, tsunamis, devastation, kill the plants, disrupt shipping, highways, roads, airports. The weather weapons are being used to create confusion, chaos, and fear in many countries to keep the narration going. Next up, take control of all internet servers across the world in every country to deplatform and ban the Great Awakening movement and all who go against the deep state narration. Ukraine's deadly gamble, Lee Smith. Yes, Putin wants to prevent NATO from expanding to, to Russia's border. But the larger answer is that he finds the U.S. government's relationship with Ukraine genuinely threatening. That's because for nearly two decades, the U.S. national security establishment under both Democratic and Republican administrations has used Ukraine as an instrument to destabilize Russia and to specifically target Putin. Why can't the American security establishment shoulder responsibility for its role in the tragedy unfolding in Ukraine? because to discuss American responsibility openly would mean exposing the national security establishment's role in two separate destructive coups. This is a game that Biden and key figures in his administration have been playing for a long time, beginning with the 2013-14 Obama administration-backed coup that toppled a Russia-friendly government in Kyiv. The Obama administration helped organize street demonstrations for what became history's most tech-savvy and PR-driven regime change operation, marketed to the global public variously as Maiden. In late February, the Russians responded to the American soft coup in Ukraine by invading Crimea 
and eventually annexing it and creating chaos in eastern Ukraine. In 2016, the Hillary Clinton campaign came calling on Ukrainian officials and activists to lend some Slavic authenticity to its Russia collusion narrative targeting Donald Trump. With the CIA's Brennan and a host of senior FBI and DOJ officials pushing Russiagate into the press and running an illegal espionage campaign against the Trump team, Ukrainian political figures gladly joined in. Key participants included Kyiv's ambassador to Washington, who wrote a Trump-Russia piece for the U.S. press and a member of the Ukrainian parliament who allegedly contributed to the dossier. Russiagate was the kind of vanity project that a buffer state with a plunging GDP and an army equipped with 40-year-old ex-Soviet weapons in a notoriously risky area of the world can ill afford, especially one that lacked a nuclear arsenal. In July 2019, U.S. national security officials injected yet another Ukraine-related narrative into the public sphere to target the American president. This one appears to have been initiated by Ukrainian American White House official Alexander Vinman and his colleague Eric Saramella, a CIA analyst who had served as Vice President Biden's point man on Ukraine. When Vinman told Saramella about a phone call in which Trump had asked the Ukrainian president for information regarding allegations about the Biden family's corrupt activities in Kyiv, they called on help from the U.S. intelligence services, the deep state, the Pentagon, the Democratic Party officials, <laughs> the Democratic Party officials, and the press. In order to cover up what the Bidens and perhaps other senior Obama officials had done in Ukraine, a Democratic Congress impeached Trump for trying to figure out what American policymakers had been doing in Ukraine over the past decade. The end result was that the Ukrainians had helped weaken an American president who, unlike Obama, gave them arms to defend themselves against the Russians. More seriously, they reinforced Putin's view that especially in partnership with the Democrats, Ukraine did not understand its true place in the world as a buffer state and would continue to allow themselves to be used as an instrument by policymakers whose combination of narcissism and fecklessness made them particularly prone to dangerous miscalculations. Interesting facts for Monday, March the 28th, the start of Boom Week. According to Israel, Christ was born on March the 28th and creation began on March the 25th. The Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints believes Christ was born around Easter on April the 6th. Christmas on the Hebrew calendar was March the 28th. 3 slash 28 equals 13. March 28th was the 94th day of the year. 9 plus 4 equals 13. March 28th was the 13th week of the year. Adar, March, was the 13th month of the Hebrew calendar due to leap year. Those are some interesting facts.